Ronnie Cycli was a big man with a soft touch around the rim, scoring via post-ups regularly because of his great footwork, coupling with his athleticism to get out in the run, dunk, and block shots, while rebounding at a high rate, going on to star at Syracuse, leading the team to a national championship game before heading to the NBA, becoming the first player to play in the NBA from Lebanon, defying the odds, making it out of the war-torn country to become a basketball star, and the first draft pick in the Miami Heat's history being the team's first building block and franchise player, developing quickly to become the most improved player in the league, helping the team have its first winning season and make the playoffs, then heading to the Warriors, then the Magic, to start alongside Penny Hardaway before ending his career with the Nets dealing with foot injuries. This is a look back on Ronnie Cycli's career. Ronnie Cycli was born in Beirut, Lebanon, living there until the age of 10, moving because of an escalating violence in the country as Cycli had experienced his apartment being bombed at one point in time and had to walk the streets with a machine gun for protection, then moved to the United States for four years before returning overseas, moving to Athens, Greece, where Cycli attended the American School for High School. He would partake in a bit of every sport, from basketball to volleyball to football, and Ronnie Cycli wouldn't begin to focus in on basketball until he went to buy basketball shoes from a store to play, getting noticed for his size at the age of 16 by Takis Koronios, who had owned the store and was once one of the most successful basketball players in the Greek League. Koronios would challenge Cycli to play basketball full-time and would recommend him to Panathinaikos, who he would go on to join training and practicing with the men's senior team, but did not play for them as he did not have a Greek passport, which was required at the time to play in the Greek League. A couple years later, he would come to America to visit his brother who was attending Colgate for school. While there, Syracuse was having a basketball camp nearby, and Cycli had decided to try and attend it, where he was quickly noticed for his size and asked instead to play with the camp counselors, who were current members on the team and former college players. Ronnie Cycli quickly impressed, and Jim Beheim would instantly offer him a scholarship afterwards, which he gladly accepted. Ronnie Cycli the following year was joining a competitive Syracuse team led by Raphael Addison in Pearl, Washington. Cycli found himself fitting into the starting lineup at the center position, where he showcased his athleticism for his size, but was still raw at times, averaging 8.1 points and 6.4 rebounds, making the Big East all-freshman team with the highlight of the year for Cycli being a game against Georgetown, where he held his own against Patrick Ewing, helping Syracuse upset Georgetown, who were largely considered to be the best team in the country at the time. Syracuse would end Cycli's freshman season going 22-9, making the NCAA tournament as a 7 seed. Round 1, Syracuse would get past Tyrone Corbin and DePaul, as Cycli was the team's second leading scorer at 17 points and leading rebounder with 9 before they would get blown out round two by two-seeded Georgia Tech behind Mark Price and John Sally. Syracuse next season returned its main guys and it had it Sherman Douglas raising the expectations for the team. Ronnie Stikely steadily kept improving his sophomore season to average 10.1 points, 7.8 rebounds, and three blocks, becoming second team all Big East, helping Syracuse thrive going 26-6, winning the Big East, making the tournament as a two-seed. Round 1, Syracuse would cruise past Brown, and the second round would be a different tale as the Orangemen would be proceeded to be upset by Navy with David Robinson outplaying Cycli who had gotten in foul trouble. In the offseason, Ronnie Cycli had already became a U.S. citizen and represented the Team USA in the FIBA World Championships, bringing home gold for USA after defeating the Soviet Union. Upon returning back to Syracuse after the championship, he would be joining a new team having lost Pearl Washington and Raphael Addison to the NBA, yet had retooled adding Derek Coleman and Stephen Thompson. Ronnie Cycli took on a bigger role after the departures to average 15.1 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks, making another second team all Big East. But unfortunately, the most memorable thing this season for Cycli would be his uncle mid-season being kidnapped, as he was kidnapped for ransom because of Ronnie Cycli growing notoriety back in the war-torn Lebanon. Fortunately, his father was able to travel to Beirut and negotiate a successful release, and during the time, Ronnie Cycli's production took a dip as he was surprisingly kept playing during the midst of it all. Meanwhile, Syracuse finished the year thriving due to the emergence of Sherman Douglas and Cycli's growth going 31-7, winning the Big East again, getting back into the NCAA tournament as a two-seed. Ronnie Cycli started the tournament off hot, carrying Syracuse into the Elite Eight after defeating Georgia Southern as he had 22 points and 7 rebounds, 
Western Kentucky with Cycli recording 23 points and 10 rebounds and then his best game against Florida going for 33 points and 9 rebounds. In the Elite Eight, Syracuse met the one-seeded North Carolina who had seven future NBA players led by Kenny Smith. Yet that did not deter Cycli in Syracuse as Ronnie Cycli kept up his stellar form going for 26 points and 11 rebounds helping Syracuse advance in a close game into the Final Four. The Final Four brought a matchup against Billy Donovan in Providence where Cycli would cool off going for 16 points and 6 rebounds but Syracuse had managed to shut down Donovan making it into the championship game for the first time in school history to play Steve Alford in Indiana. The game would be a close one with each team's star players coming to play and Ronnie Cycli playing his part scoring 18 points and having 10 rebounds. Syracuse down the stretch looked like they were going to win the game being up one and Coleman headed to the free throw line, but Derek Coleman missed his free throw and Indiana went down the court winning the game on a jump shot from Keith Smart, ending Syracuse season in heartbreak. However, Ronnie Cycli had lots to be proud of playing his best stretch of basketball yet when it mattered most leading Syracuse to the national championship game picking up all tournament team honors. Ronnie Cycli returned for a senior season to lead the team in scoring and blocks with 16.3 points and 2.4 blocks and was second on the team in rebounding at 9.6, resulting in Cycli becoming a second team All-American. All the while, Syracuse had a shaky start to the season before finding its form going 26-9, winning the Big East Conference Tournament getting into the dance as a three seed. Round 1, the Orangemen defeated North Carolina AT&T as Cycli went for 20 points and 16 rebounds. Round 2 was against Rhode Island, and Ronnie Cycli kept performing strong in the tournament with 27 points and 10 rebounds, but Sherman Douglas would be battling illness in the guard duo of Carlton Owens and Tom Garrick were clicking, upsetting Syracuse Round 2 as they missed a game winner at the Horn ending Ronnie Cycli's time at Syracuse, leaving the school as its all-time leading rebounder, second in block shots, and fourth in scoring. Entering the NBA draft, Cycli was a lottery prospect, being a big man who had good speed getting up and down the floor, coupled with his strength and soft, nice touch around the rim, contributing well on both ends of the floor throughout all of his years at college. In the 1988 NBA Draft, with the ninth overall pick, the Miami Heat selected Ronnie Cycli as its first draft pick in franchise history and became the first player born in Lebanon to play in the NBA. Cycli was joining a Miami Heat team for its first season in existence, becoming its first building block for the franchise. That meant early playing time for Cycli, his rookie season becoming the Heat's starting center, averaging 10.9 points and 7 rebounds. Being one of the team's bright spots, the Heat were an expansion team losing games in bunches, going 15-67 and 67, missing the playoffs. In the NBA draft, Miami would slowly continue to build the team, selecting Glenn Rice and Sherman Douglas. Ronnie Cycli, with one season under his belt, felt more comfort within his game to become the go-to guy for the Miami Heat leading the Heat in points, blocks, and rebounds at 16.6 points, 1.7 blocks, and 10.4 rebounds, earning Cycli the most improved player award for his jump and play, for a Heat team that went 18-64 missing the playoffs. The following season, Douglas and Rice became a more focal point on the offense, and Ronnie Cycli backed them up, averaging 16.4 points and 11.1 rebounds, helping the young Heat slowly keep improving to go 24-58 still missing the playoffs. In the NBA draft, the Heat would select well again, taking Steve Smith to add to its young core. The Miami Heat would enter next season to start without Sherman Douglas, who had led the team the prior year in scoring and assists, who was having a contract disagreement with the team. But the Miami Heat got off to a hot start this season without him with the addition of Steve Smith and continued growth of Rice. So when Douglas did reach a deal, the Heat decided to trade him away upon his return. Ronnie Cycli maintained his form as the Heat were finally putting things together, averaging 16.4 points and 11.8 rebounds. The Heat, with its new trio, had gone 38 and 44, making it in the playoffs for the first time in franchise history as the eighth seed, meeting the juggernaut that was the Chicago Bulls round one with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Horace Grant, where the Bulls behind Jordan's 45 points per game swept the Miami Heat. Ronnie Cycli put together a strong series against the Bulls, averaging 20.7 points and 10 rebounds in his first postseason experience. It was just an unfortunate matchup for the young team. Ronnie Cycli rode the strong postseason into next season to average 17.1 points and 11.8 rebounds, 
and even managed to win the Player of the Week for the week of March 7th as he averaged 30 points and 20 rebounds. Cycli had also set a career high in rebounds in a game this season, grabbing 34 of them. The Miami Heat in the season looked strong when fully healthy, yet Steve Smith missed some time, resulting in them going 36 and 46, missing out in the playoffs. Next year, the Miami Heat returned back fully healthy, seeing a slight dip in Cycli scoring to 15.1 points and still putting up 10.3 rebounds a game. Helping the Heat with Smith back put together their first winning season in franchise history, going 42 and 40 making the playoffs the 8th seed, meeting Atlanta Hawks round 1 with Danny Manning, Mookie Blaylock, and Kevin Willis. The series would be a physical one to start, being tied up after Game 2, which was most known for an all-out bench-clearing brawl. Game 3, the Heat would win as Cycli had his best game of the series, scoring 12 points and grabbing 20 rebounds, before going on to drop the next two games, losing the series as Blaylock and Willis led the Hawks to victories. Ronnie Cycli did not have a great series, hurting the Heat as he was benched in favor of Grant Long, as Cycli was not deemed 100% healthy at the end of the year, with him averaging 8.2 points and 9.4 rebounds over the series. Just before the start of the next season, the Miami Heat decided to move on from Cycli. Ronnie Cycli was traded by the Miami Heat to the Golden State Warriors for Billy Owens and Shasha Danilovich. Cycli was joining a Warriors team with expectations to make it back to the playoffs behind the core of Chris Smolin, Latrell Sprewell, and Tim Hardaway. Ronnie Cycli stepped in to be the fourth option in the starting center for the Warriors. That was when he was healthy as Cycli battled injuries going for 36 games, averaging 12.1 points and 7.4 rebounds. Ronnie Cycli was not the only player battling injuries, with each of the Warriors stars players being extremely injured riddled resulting in the team going 26-56, and 56, missing the playoffs. After the bad year, the Warriors had the first pick in the draft, selecting Joe Smith with the team hoping to bounce back the following season. Ronnie Cycli came back to play in 64 games, averaging 12.1 points and 7.8 rebounds, and the Warriors again saw lots of injuries, in particular with Mullen and Hardaway, going 36-46, and 46, missing out in the playoffs for the second straight year after having playoff expectations entering the season. In the offseason after things did not work out, Ronnie Cycli was traded away. Ronnie Cycli was traded by the Golden State Warriors with Clifford Rozier and a future second round pick that became Leron Prophet to the Orlando Magic for John Konchak, Donald Royal, and Felton Spencer. Cycli was brought in by the Magic after they had lost Shaquille O'Neal in free agency to be the team's new starting center and keep them from slipping from their playoff form. Ronnie Cycli was on a Magic team with Penny Hardaway, Horace Grant, Nick Anderson, and Dennis Scott. Cycli quickly fit in in Orlando, becoming the second option to Hardaway, averaging 17.3 points and led the team in rebounds at 9.5, guiding the Magic to a 45 and 37 record, making the playoffs the seventh seed to face off against Ronnie Cycli's old team in the Miami Heat, headed by the duo of Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning. The Magic entered as big underdogs as Horace Grant was out with injury, dropping the first two games to no surprise. Before the Magic rattled off two victories of their own, tying the series up as Penny Hardaway was going off in the emergence of Daryl Armstrong, but Cycli picked up an injury missing Game 4 and subsequently Game 5, hurting the team as Alonzo Mourning took advantage, winning the game in the series for the Heat. In the three games Ronnie Cycli played this series, he averaged 6.3 points and 5.3 rebounds. Next season, the Magic had helped to bounce back, but Penny Hardaway picked up an injury early into the season, drastically hurting the team, sparking a rebuild, seeing Cycli on the move after 47 games. Ronnie Cycli was initially traded to the Utah Jazz, but refused to report to the team, ending in the Magic finding another deal, trading Ronnie Cycli with Brian Evans to the New Jersey Nets for David Benoit, Yinka Dare, Kevin Edwards, and a first-round pick that became Matt Harpering. Ronnie Cycli was joining a Nets team looking to make a run in the playoffs behind Sam Cassell, Kerry Kittles, and Keith Van Horn. However, nine games in, Ronnie Cycli picked up a foot injury ending his season, playing in 56 games between Orlando and New Jersey to average 13.3 points and 7 rebounds this season. The Nets without Cycli the rest of the regular season went 43-39 and sneaking into the playoffs to the 8th seed. Fortunately, Cycli would return for the Nets this series where they would be playing against the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan. But Cycli was clearly not back to full form, and Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan sweeping the Nets out of the playoffs. Cycli and his reduced roll off the bench over the series averaged 6 points and 3 rebounds. Ronnie Cycli next season would attempt to make a comeback, but the foot injury was lingering, limiting him to 9 games, averaging 1.7 points and 2.3 rebounds, 
with the Nets ending the year going 16-34 and in the lockout shortened season after adding Stephon Mulberry. After the end of the year, not seeming to bounce back from injury, the Nets waived Ronnie Cycli. In the summer, Ronnie Cycli would be granted a waiver and would compete for the Lebanese national team in the 1999 West Asian Championship, where he'd lead the team to a silver medal averaging 30 points and 20 rebounds a game. Afterwards, no NBA team came calling, and Ronnie Cycli would head overseas to play for Barcelona in the Spanish ACB League, which ended up being a short stint playing in three games in league play and four in the Euro League before deciding to retire. Ronnie Cycli, over 11 years in the NBA, averaged 14.7 points, 9.5 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks. Cycli, in retirement, would remain busy becoming a popular DJ and producing multiple hit songs then later decided to move into real estate, becoming successful as well, running a multi-million dollar real estate investment company. Ronnie Cycli will be remembered for manning the center position, having the ability to run the floor for a big man getting out for dunks, while also being able to post up and finish around the rim with a soft touch, relying on his athleticism to become a great rebounder and shot blocker, starring at Syracuse, leading the team to a national championship game, before heading to the NBA to become the first NBA player from Lebanon, defying the odds making it out of the war-torn country. Among other firsts, Ronnie Cycli became the Heat's first ever draft pick and being the initial building block in Miami and its first franchise player, improving drastically to become the most improved player in the league, helping the team reach his first playoff appearances and winning season, before heading to the Golden State Warriors, then the Orlando Magic, having the more success in Orlando as the right-hand man to Penny Hardaway, then ending his career in New Jersey with a foot injury. Ronnie Cycli over his career had captured the hearts of many fans for his demeanor and play on the court. Thanks for watching this video on Ronnie Cycli's career. If you want to see any other videos about any other random players, leave them in the comments below, and I may or may not decide to do them. Who knows? Thanks again for watching. This has been Skid Denver.